everyone and welcome to the Workbench Theater. Today I'm going to make a carrying tray to put on your snacks and drinks and things like that uh, because you're always finding yourself uh, with your hands full when you're walking from the kitchen to your liver living room or maybe uh, when you've got a barbecue going on. Um, so I thought uh, I'd use this uh, these pieces of leftover wood to uh, make a nice carrying tray. So. Uh, I've got some sawing to do, I've got some routing to do, uh, and then I'm, uh, I'm going to put it together. So I hope you, uh, you're going to enjoy this little project. Okay, so these are the two pieces of wood I still needed to saw. Um, these are going to become um, the small sides and I already cut the the long sides so these are the short sides these are the long sides and I will make the bottom out of a piece of plywood it's a six mil um, it is a darker color yeah doesn't really matter to me maybe it's uh, it gives it uh, a nice effect um, the next step for me is to uh, uh, take my router and uh, use it to make a small channel for uh, the bottom to sit in so I can glue it all together. Um, I hope I've measured everything correctly. Uh, that basically means that this bottom is larger than the uh, circumference of these pieces because if I measured correctly I've got about half a centimeter for this bottom to be routed into all of the, the, the different sides. Okay, so uh, this is just something I figured out myself. I'm pretty sure there are much better ways of doing it. But uh, I just drilled two holes in my workbench because my workbench hangs a bit over the, uh, over the drawers and the cabinets that are under it. Um, and uh, I can just bolt it uh, to my work table. So uh, in order to do that, I just grab these two bolts with washers and wing nuts okay so uh, that will allow me to uh, uh, to router out the channels but first I need to uh, to change out the router bit yeah I think this setup will work. I'm going to use some hearing protection and uh, some uh, eyewear pr uh, eye protection. And I have to block the uh, the on off switch which I'll do just by tying a simple zip tie around it so that's what I'm going to do first Okay, so that's done. It turned out uh, pretty good actually. And uh, you know, this is like a, a, a hack setup. Um, it doesn't cost me anything. And uh, hey, as long as the results are there, I'm happy. Don't forget to take off your uh, zip tie if you've got equipment uh, that you've tied down like that because the next time you're going to plug it in, it will start and that may uh, give you a really bad day. So let's see if it all will fit together. I do realize that the sound of me doing all of this is 
coming up through my tripod and into the camera. So, um, sorry about that. Okay, well, I didn't screw up completely, but uh, what I am seeing is that I'm coming up short on this side. The bottom should protrude a bit more, say, maybe half a centimeter more. So, uh, the only solution is to take uh, half a centimeter off of these two sides so that this end will um, slide on there. So I took off half a centimeter of the sides. Um, let's see how it fits now. Now uh, what I have to do is uh, screw in the sides. I'm gonna glue and screw them uh, to make it a nice uh, solid construction and after that I have to make two um, handles and I've got an old leather belt that I'm going to use for that. Okay, now I'm going to take um, a Torx uh, screwdriver and uh, see if I can get them in uh, all equally deep because that's pretty hard to do uh, with a drilling machine. Next up is uh, sanding down all of these corners. I find that one of the hardest things to do um, but that's me personally. When I'm, um, you know, doing uh, doing a little project or whatever, is cleaning up after myself. I'm really bad at cleaning up after myself. Okay, well, I don't have anything better at the moment uh, than these, um, these flat hat screws with a ring uh, attached to them. I guess they're okay, but if I come across something better, um, I'll use that. I mean, I can easily change these things out. <laughs> Okay, so this is the end result. It was a, a simple build, uh, but it was for me the first time that I uh, used a router to carve out um, a channel uh, for the bottom to be uh, uh, sitting in. It's a really solid construction and uh, you can uh, uh, transport plenty of, uh, of snacks and drinks uh, in this tray. So uh, that was it for me, uh, at least for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, I'd like to see you next time uh, for the next episode of the Workbench Theatre. See you then!